Alright, good day everyone. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is Costa Lick and Vlogs. So, our topic for today is all about Binet's formula. So, this is mathematics in the modern world. So, we have here Binet's formula. Binet's formula is an explicit formula used to find n term of the Fibonacci sequence. It is so named because it was derived by mathematician Jacques Philippe Marie Binet, though it was already known by Abraham de Moivre. So this is the formula for Binet, so presented here on the screen. So this is the formula that derived by Binet. So ladies and gentlemen, so I have here some formulas that we need to uh, put in mind that in order for us to know easily or we have to have a shortcut in finding some of the first terms some of the n term to the n term and the theorems that we're going to add the add and the even terms of the Fibonacci so we could supply you a formula and also the sum of the squares so these are the formulas that we have to use this afternoon so we have here consider the sequence 1 1 2 3 5 8 and 13 so we have here five problems to solve so the first problem is what is the 14 term of the Fibonacci sequence and number two what is the sum of the first 11 terms of the given sequence and number three, what is the square of the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence? And number four, what is the sum of the squares from 7 term to the 13 terms? And what is the sum of the first 15 even positioned numbers of the Fibonacci sequence? So let's start with number one. So what is the 14 term of the Fibonacci sequence? So by the use of the formula, so we have here fn is equal to 1 over the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5 over, over 2. Then we have here raised to n minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n. So this is a formula that we're going to use in order for us to use to solve for the 14 term. So we have here f14 is equal to 1 over the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 14 minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 14. So if we're going to calculate 1, the result would be, okay, look at the result is, so you have 3, 7, 7. So the F14 is 3, 7, 7. If we're going to use the manual or the conventional way, so let's try. So this is 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, this is 8, this is 13, 13 plus 21, 8, that is 21, 34, we have 55, 89, 144, 233, and 377. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So what is the 14th term of the Fibonacci sequence? We have 3, 7, 7. So by use of conventional way, so we could prove that the formula for Vene is checked. Okay, so let's proceed with number 2. What is the sum of the first 11 terms of the given sequence? So the formula for in getting the sum of 
the, for the n terms of the given sequence is this. So Sn is equal to f n plus 2 minus 1. So this is a formula in how to find our f n plus 2, the sum of the first 11 terms of the given sequence. So we have to find the 11 terms. So therefore, so f 11 plus 2 minus 1. So this is f13 minus 1. So if we're going to compute this one, f13 is equal to 1 over the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 13 minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 13. So if we're going to calculate that 1, the result is... So the result for this part is 2, 3, 3. So based on calculator. So this is our F13. So therefore we have here 2, 3, 3 minus 1. Minus 1 is equal to 2, 3, 2. So this is the sum of the 11 term. So take note if we're going to use the conventional way. So we have here 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 13 plus 21 plus 34 plus 55 plus 89. If we're going to sum that one, it will result with 2, 3, 2. So this is the formula in finding the sum of the first 11 terms or the first n terms of the given sequence. So this one. So that's it for number two. For number three, what is the square of the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence? So same formula since we have here the square, just the square. So f n plus 2 minus 1. So we have here a left 10 term. So we have here f 10 plus 2 minus 1. So we have here f 12 minus 1. So first we're going to compute f 12. f 12 is equal to 1 over the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 12 minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 12. So if we're going to calculate this one, the result is 144. 4. So this is our F12. So therefore, F12 is 144 4 minus 1, that is 143. Since we need to square the sum, so squaring the sum, S of 10 square, that is 143 square, the result of this one is 204. Four, nine. Okay, so that's the result. If we're going to, uh, we have here the uh, conventional way of solving. So we have here 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 13 plus 21 plus 34 plus 55. So the result of this one, if we're going to equate, we have 143. So we have here 143, then squared. The result is 20449. So check. So therefore, this is the formula still, and just the square of this part. All right, so that's number three. So let's see it with number four. What is the sum of the squares from 7th term to the 13th term? So the formula for the sum of the term is equal to f n f n plus 1 minus f n sub 1 minus 1 f n sub 1. So we're going to multiply here. So this is 7th and to 13th. So we have here 7, 13, so therefore we have F13 and F13 
13 plus 1, that 13 plus 1, minus F7, so 7 minus 1, F7. So therefore, we have here F14, and the 13, that is it's F14, minus F6 and F7. Alright, so if we're going to compute this part, so we have F13 is equal to 1 to the square root of 5, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 squared, minus 1 by the square root of 5 over 2 squared. So the result is, right, so in the result using calculator, the result is 2, 3, 3. So F14, so 1 to the square root of 5, 1 plus the square root of 5, square root of 5, over 2, raised to 14, minus 1 with square root of 5, over 2, raised to 14. So by the use of calculator, the result is, all right, we have 377. F6, so F6 is equal to 1 to the square root of 5, so 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 6 minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 6. So by the use of calculator, the result is 8. Next, we have F7. F7 is 1 to the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 squared minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 squared. So the result using calculator is 13. So we have to use this part, right? F13, so F13, F14, minus F6 and F7. So F13, that is 2, 3, 3, times 14, that is 3, 7, 7, minus 8 times 13. So using calculator, the result of this part is 8, 7, 7, 8, 7, 7, 3, 7. So that's it. So if we're going to manually square the sum of 17 to 13, so the, 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 the seven term is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so we will start with 13. So 13 squared plus next to 13 is 21 squared plus next is 34 squared plus 89 squared plus... We have 144 squared plus 232 squared. So if we're going to calculate that one and sum, we have 87737. So still, this is the answer. So that's all about number 4. Okay, so let's proceed with number 5. Number 5 is states that what is the sum of the first 15 even position number of the Fibonacci sequence. So we have here the sum of the even is the formula is F 2n plus 1 minus 1. So this is the formula. So this is 15 even numbers. So they are F 2 times 15 plus 1 minus 1. So F 30 plus 1 minus 1. That is F 31 minus 1. We have to solve F31. So F31 is equal to 1 to the square root of 5 times 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 31 minus the square root 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to 31. So by the use of calculator, so the result of this part is 1, 3, 4, 6269. So 
by F31, so we have 1, 3, 4, 6, 2, 6, 9, minus 1. The result is 1, 3, 4, 6, 2, 6, 8. So this is the sum of the first even position. So let's try. So even. So let's have 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus next is 21. So it's even is 1. 1 plus 2. So let's start with the even position. I know we have here 1 plus 3 plus 8. So this is the even part here. So 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 21 plus 55 plus 144 plus 377 based on here plus 987 plus 32584 plus 6765 plus 17711 plus 46368 plus 127893 plus 317811. So the result using calculator, we have 143134626. So the same result with using the formula. So we have here, the next is the try this. Consider the sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 13. So what is the sum between 20th term and 30th term of the Fibonacci sequence? Number. Next number. So find the sum between 40th term and 50th term of the Fibonacci sequence. What is the sum of the first 25 terms of the Fibonacci sequence? And what is the sum of the squares of the terms between 15th to 20th term in the sequence and what is the sum of 15 to 25th term of the Fibonacci sequence. So note use Binet's formula and conventional or that is the manual method to check whether the formula is running or is that's okay. So we're going to check that one using the using the manual like what I did a while ago that I'm using the counting or the manual putting of the numbers. So thank you so much for tuning in to this Casaligan Logs. I hope everyone you enjoyed this moment and I hope you learned something out of my discussion. Thank you and God bless everyone.